tonight to make french fries and cream cheeseburgers. And I'm starting with the french fries because they take a little longer, but I'm super excited about this new rapid prep mandolin. So it's gonna cut all our fries. I'm gonna check my settings because I was doing some slicing earlier. This is the most amazing product in our spring line. Like I thought for sure it was gonna be one of these big, I loved everything and I thought it was gonna be one of the big items, but this has come in so handy. I've used it so much and it's so easy to use and clean. I've, I've just never seen a prep tool that is, you know, been perfected to this level before. So sure enough, we're gonna switch it back over to Julianne, a large, thick dice. It's just dials, you can hear it clicking. Again, super easy. I've got it on seven, which is the thickest. And then I've already peeled the potatoes. We compost, so I peel right onto one of our cutting mats, which I love also because of this. It folds, it bends, and I can just dump it right in. So it's great for any kind of prep that you're doing, and you can always just slide it in just like that, and it's really handy. Okay, so let's start with our potato. Every time, every time. They're perfect, just like a French fry, right? And they're all even, which is the best part about this. So, okay, it'll cook, they cook, it cooks so much more evenly because it's all one length. So they're perfect, they're all the same, and they'll go into our air fryer. I mean, this is so fast. Look how many potatoes I just julienne perfectly even, and how quickly I did it. Boom. Here's another one. I just love this. And anybody who has arthritis or trouble gripping, um, this is a great gift or item for them because it's so easy and you don't have to really grip anything. There's no force this is taking. And it's got this great big trough right here which is catching all of our french fries. We're going to season them when we're done with this seasoning salt by Pamper Chef, which I love. I always talk about their spices. They are so good. They're non-GMO, gluten-free. They're just phenomenal. So we use those for everything around here. Okay, so our fries are done. They're, I mean, they're cut up. So now, we're, which is the hardest part about fresh French fries is the cutting, it's tedious. Nobody likes it. Well, now it just took me like 10 seconds to do this. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a mixing bowl, a small one. And then we are going to dump these in here. And all of this is dishwasher safe. The whole mandolin is dishwasher safe. It's awesome. So. We're putting all our fries in here because we're gonna lightly dust them with some oil and salt before we fry them. Okie dokie. So we got all that in. I'm gonna set this in the sink to wash because we're actually going to use this to cut the um, onions for our burgers when they're ready. So we're gonna use the seasoned salt and just a little bit of oil so very, not too much. You don't need much, you don't want oily, greasy fries. I mean, you want good oily fries, but not like super greasy and soggy. So we're just kind of lightly tossing this, and then we're gonna add some spices to it, just a little bit. Again, we can, we'll season and toss them after they're done. This is just a little bit. You want a little salt on these to draw out the moisture a little so they get nice and crunchy. So this is too much to fit in our basket. You only want your basket about half full for your air fryer, whatever model you've got. I love ours because it does six things. It dehydrates, so I'm doing a fruit leather. So that's about half full. So we still have a little bit left in here, so we'll just do a second batch after this. These are coated in oil now, so they'll stay in here while our fries cook just fine. They won't brown or anything because they're covered in oil. So I've sealed the basket. Um, Snap this so shut. Just drying this off real fast, and then you can see how it goes in, which is great. So let's let's do that. So now the drip trace just slides right in the bottom there, and it catches everything in the bottom of that. 
And then this is called the shield, and it goes in the top of the fryer, Oops. like this. And like I said, it just it protects from splatter and stuff. So we're all set, super easy. We're gonna slide these fries in here. There it is, close the door. And the best way to cook fries, no matter what kind of fryer, even a fryer with oil, but obviously this is much better because cleaning a fryer with oil is awful. If you've ever done it, you know what I'm talking about. Changing out the oil, if you wanna reuse it, you can strain it, and frying oil is very expensive. Like getting vats of peanut oil is really pricey. <clears throat> So this is great for that. It's more cost effective, it's healthier, it's a better way to fry for sure. So the best way to cook fries is a two-stage method. So we're gonna go custom on this first one for 10 minutes at 325. And then when, oops, and then when that is done, we will come back Keep the rotate on. You want the basket spinning. Uh, when we come back, I will change it up to 400 degrees on air fry for about 18 minutes. And that's what cooks the raw potatoes through is this kind of this first lower cooking. And then you crisp them and get them really good at a higher temperature, which like I said, is what you would do in any kind of frying. So these will be great. In the meantime, I am going to get our burgers ready while these are cooking. Okay, so we've got our fries cooking in the fryer. There's about three minutes left on the beginning, um, the first cycle that we do at 325 to cook the potatoes and get them, you know, cooked through in the center. Um, so we're gonna while we're doing that and letting that cook before we change it to the higher setting, would actually like fries and crispy. We're gonna mix together our burgers. So. My cream cheese burger recipe is not healthy. It calls for almost a quarter brick, which would I believe is an eight ounce brick of um, cream cheese and a pound of ground beef, which we've already got in there. And then to make myself, well, if not, I don't eat meat. So <laughs> to make myself feel better about giving this to my family, because it's a treat for them, they love this recipe. I add a scoop of our enrichables, which is about a tablespoon or so. It comes with a scoop, but mine right now is in a dishwasher. Um, and I don't want to put, it'll be moist, and I don't want it to go in this bag. So that's about enough. So we put that in there, and then we added a whole serving of veggies. We snuck into this, because my husband will not eat vegetables. My kids do, but my husband won't. So this is awesome for them. So we put our veggie enrichables in there. And now for seasoning, I'm going to add some onion, our three onion spice, which is one of our favorite spices in this house. We absolutely love it and put it on everything. Non-GMO, no preservatives added, no gluten. It's great. I use it in vegan dishes and dishes for my family. Who you can hear in the background. <laughs> okay, so now I'm adding fresh cracked pepper and I am adding a little pinch of salt. And then I am adding, I'm just gonna basically mix it with my hands now. And just after I'm adding all of that, I just wanna stir it and mix it. And then I'm gonna form it into patties. And you can see our great indoor grill right here. And that um, is what we're gonna cook these burgers on tonight, right here in this spot. And I'm gonna show you the coolest feature, how the lid hovers over and will broil and melt the cheese. So I'm still mixing this together. Yes, with my bare hands, that's part of cooking. And I'm gonna stir it together until the cream cheese is really blended into the mixture really well. So let's keep blending that up. It takes a minute and then you get a mixture that where it looks like the cream cheese is throughout all of that red meat. And you can hear our air fryer going off. So I'm gonna rinse my hands, and this is about done. You can see it kind of almost looks like meatloaf, you know? And then I am going to, after this, I'm going to, sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm going to set it to air fry setting, which is 400 degrees, for 18 minutes. And there we go. And now after that 18 minutes are done, our fries will be done and we'll season them up. And our burgers should be done about right around the same time because this grill only takes a few minutes to grill stuff because it grills from both sides with heat. All right guys, so I'm forming the patties.
is I've got three formed already. One pound makes about four burgers, quarter pound burgers roughly. I make two a little bigger and then two smaller for my kids, but it roughly makes four. And then I am going to, um, and yes, I have dishes in my sink. I am a mom. I do not clean as I go. I'm terrible about it. I get too busy and distracted with boo-boos and <laughs> everything else. Okay, so I'm turning this on now. We have the grill plates on both sides for this recipe, which is great. So I don't know if you can, there we go. It's a little better. Okay, so now we're going to do grill. Grill setting for about six minutes. Start it, we're gonna close it, because we are gonna sandwich these. So we're gonna let this warm up for a minute. But in the meantime, I wanted to get my rapid prep and slice up some tomatoes. And then we're going to grill the burgers. You can hear it, it has suction feet. You can kind of hear them with them. So the, there's tomato mess right here, and it made it moist. <laughs> so it's super it suctioned on there really well. So now we are ready, I would say, to get our burgers on. potatoes which is awesome but they also each one has different tips this is a measurement one there's one that tells you which knives are for what there's one that has cuts tips on what the cuts mean when you see them in a recipe like julienne or slice and dice so you can kind of hear it starting to sizzle so we're going to close this top and you don't need to press it like a panini you just kind of let it set and do its thing and it's awesome <laughs> and it's only going to take like five minutes and it took what a minute maybe to heat where the grill takes forever to get hot and even that's another thing about this, it's even cooking on both sides at the same time. It's awesome. I love this grill. I use it as a griddle, a grill, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, everything. It's awesome. So, I wanted to go over real quick. Our fryer just stopped. I just turned the grill off. Our burgers are done. I will show you those up close. Our french fries are done. I'm going to pull those out. They're perfectly cooked. They sound delicious. Crispy, crunchy. We have another batch of those we'll do in a minute. And then our burgers are done. So I'm gonna plate all this up and then I will post some stills of it all finished together and what it looked like. Um, for this, for the fries, we're ready. We're just gonna dump them out and then we're gonna put some seasoning salt, sprinkle that over the top of them and they will be ready and done. And that's it and our burgers are done. They're ready, we're just putting them on a bun. So thanks so much, guys. If you like this, please share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or comments about any products or recipes, please feel free to reach out. I love answering your questions. I'm passionate about cooking, and I love other people that are too. So please reach out to me and let me know what you guys think. Thanks.